guys, it's Inka. So I'm in Taipei right now, and I want to show you guys just how awesome the 7-Eleven here is. Today's challenge is for me to make a three-course meal. I'm excited, I hope you're excited too. Let's go and give it a shot. So the local 7-Eleven stores in Taipei are actually very different from the ones in America. They're actually more like cafes. People come here to hang out or to have business meetings. Over here, they also have a lot more products and services that we didn't even know 7-Eleven could possibly have. I didn't think 7-Eleven would sell a Muji. They have a lot of products here, first aid area, in terms of toiletries, even dog food and cat food. Here we have the ramen section, and there's obviously a lot of chips. Wait, we shouldn't get distracted. All right, I'm gonna start doing this. So for appetizers, we should probably get some bread, purely because the bread here looks amazing. I am 100% getting this garlic bread. Maybe we could get some steamed egg. That looks really good. We are getting fried chicken. There's also salad here, but... There's beef noodle soup. There's also cold noodles, which is what I'm gonna get today. I'm also gonna get this lunch box. And I think I'm gonna add an egg to the rice to make it extra special for a hot drink. I'm picking this pretty popular milk tea that they have here. In terms of cold drinks, there's a lot here, but I think I'm gonna get the bubble tea. Look at all that food. Yay. Here we have the first and second course. There is a lot of stuff. This is gonna be a really big meal. Let's do it. I'm going to start off with the bubble tea. You can see the layer of boba here. And then there's milk. So we're gonna mix that together. It looks pretty legit. So this is actually not milk tea. It's a brown sugar milk drink, which is also really good. Just that it's a little on the sweeter side. I think they did pretty good. Even though I would say in Taipei, I'd probably go buy this drink somewhere else. Next we have this garlic bread. It looks like a golden brick of garlicky goodness. It's so thick. Maybe it's because there's garlic butter on all six sides, but the garlic flavor really comes out. The bread has a nice firmness to it, which is probably why it's holding that garlic butter so well. This is so good. 100% recommend. So now we're gonna go into this steamed egg. You can see it jiggle. There's corn in there, chicken, edamame. It looks pretty good to me. It's a very healthy hot food item. Mm. This is really smooth. With the lightest touch, it kind of just falls apart. On a cold winter night, this would be the go-to snack. Our last food item for our first course is this. Taiwanese fried chicken, a very popular street food. Again, not something I think people would expect to find at 7-Eleven. What we do need to do though is to microwave this and it should be done. So we microwave the chicken, and this is what it looks like on the inside. Wow, this looks so good, and it smells so good. There's only six pieces in here. I need to eat a second one for better analysis. It does taste a little soggier, which makes a lot of sense because we microwaved this, but the flavor of this chicken, on point. Definitely like better quality than I would expect to find here at a convenience store. I think that concludes our first course. Now let's move on to the second course. We have noodles, we have a bento box, we have buns, soft boiled eggs, which will go with the rice, and then we have a hot drink. I'm going to start us off with the cold noodles. Probably one of my favorite things to get every time I'm here in Taipei. There's sesame sauce, soy sauce based noodle sauce, and then we have cucumbers. Let's drizzle that over. Now we're gonna mix it together. I already know this is going to be good. If you ask me about the top thing I would recommend here at 7-Eleven, this is it. The flavor of the sauces, the texture of the noodles, even the freshness of the cucumber. And look at this portion size. There's so much. And it's cheap. It's so good. So our other main dish for today is a pork chop bento box. I've actually never had this before, so I'm very excited to try it for the first time. this, it's super duper hot. So what they do is give you this little bag that you can put it in so you don't burn your fingers. It's so cute. Look at that beautiful sauce. 
a little egg underneath, the little vegetable side dish, and um, more vegetables on this side with a little vermicelli. What I'm gonna do now is put this in with the rice. There's two little eggs. <gasps> that is beautiful. This is soft boiled egg done right. Now I'm gonna put this on the rice. So this is the final product. This giant piece of pork and some egg. All in all, I would say this is pretty standard. Definitely would fill you up. This is still my favorite part though. This little bag, genius. I'm gonna take a sip of this drink, classic milk tea drink. What I like most about this, they actually have like a hot fridge here to store all these drinks, which is perfect for when it gets cold in winter. One more thing for our second course meal, the bun. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. look at that filling. So there's kimchi mixed inside of this pork. The bun is soft and fluffy. There's actually quite a bit of filling. Honestly, it tastes like something you would be able to buy at a restaurant. I've already had way too much food, but we have one more course left, and that's dessert, which I'm gonna go get now. I'm gonna try and keep it simple, but I don't know. No promises. Okay, so I told myself not to get too carried away. Let me explain. It just looks super cool. I've never seen anything like this. This is an ice cream mochi. I think there's actually pound cake bits in it. This chocolate Boston pie, which just looks really good. The grape jelly, because it's huge. So, I had to get it. A crepe ice cream. It's like a drumstick, but in a crepe. <laughs> Mmm, so it really is just ice cream with chocolate bits on the inside. You can see the little flakes on top. And the crepe is actually, it's soft, like you would expect a fresh crepe to be. Look at this. I love it. I love that they have this here. I should stop. No, I'm gonna stop. Now for this one, little mochi ice cream. It even comes with a little spoon thing. This is what it looks like on the inside. Earl Grey ice cream, that's what it tastes like. The mochi is chewy. This is a dessert that I would come back and have again. Next up, we have the grape jelly. Super excited. Ooh, look at this. It's so juicy. You can see the little like grape bits in here. This is like a fresh fruit jelly. The grapes are actually really good. If you want something light and something fruity, this is a great dessert to have. And it's huge. You could split this between three people. Okay, maybe two. Last dessert item. Oh, here is that chocolate Boston pie. The Boston cream pie, I think, is known for its thick cream filling. This is a chocolate version of that. Ooh -hoo -hoo. And it smells really good. This cream is more like a chocolate mousse. The chocolate flavor here is so rich. I can't believe this isn't something at a bakery. I am so amazed right now. That concludes our three course meal at 7-Eleven. Or maybe more like 10 course meal. You can get everything from appetizers to main courses to desserts right here at the same spot. It's almost like a pick your own style buffet. And now I think I'm done with eating for the week. That was a lot of food. <laughs>